Good afternoon, everybody. Matt here from Horn Rapids RV Service and Sales to introduce the newest addition to our sales lineup. This is the 2022 Mission Summit Overland Trailer. This is an overland trailer, so this is mostly designed for camping up in the forest, out in the boonies, wherever you're not going to have power and hookups. So they try to accommodate that in a few ways that we'll talk about throughout the walkthrough of this trailer. First thing that we have here is a max coupler. This articulates side to side and up and down to help ensure that the trailer is easily tracking behind your vehicle in those off-road scenarios. The spare tire would typically be mounted on the mount up here on the front, but we do have it off for this video. These are 31 and a half inch all-terrain tires with KMC custom wheels. Does have a foldable jack with one wheel on it, so this can be easily maneuvered. If you have it in a garage or a shop with a nice solid floor, you can maneuver this around very easily with just one person. We did order the upgrade on this particular unit for the second two and a half gallon propane tank holder. So you do have two two and a half gallon propane tanks that will be full and ready to go for you as soon as you pick your new trailer up. Right here we have our storage box. These are nice, very heavy duty latches, very heavy duty doors. Everything in here is very strong and well built. This is our battery compartment. In here, we currently have a group 24 lead acid battery, but there are many different combinations we could do to accommodate your dry camping needs. We could upgrade batteries to six volts, lithiums, add solar packages, whatever you need to make sure that you're not running out of juice while you're camping with your family. And I did forget one thing right here. This unit is already set up right behind the propane tank, pre-wired for portable solar. As we come around the side, we see that we do have a slight bit of storage there, but not a whole lot. This is for the kitchen pullout, which we'll pull out on the other side, as, and we will show you once we get to that side. And you do also have a battery disconnect switch in that compartment as well, so when you're storing this unit for long periods of time, you're not going to drain the batteries. We do have a very, very nifty outside shower. Super simple to use. We're just going to go ahead and line this up, push it in. And I can go from cold to hot and then back to off and disconnected. Right here, we do have an Overland Adventures exterior shower room. Very simple, very quick setup. This, these arms right here just fold out and then the fabric dangles. To put this away, I would just fold it back, roll it back up and it Velcros. Another very neat feature is if you peek over the top, there is a light that is perfectly positioned to make sure that if you're a real early riser or staying up late, you'll still have the light to do what you need to do. Right around here, we do have our gravity fill. So one of the things I was saying about, you know, making sure that you'll last on a camping trip quite a long time is, is a 37 gallon fresh water tank, which for any trailer is pretty darn big, but one this side, that's pretty much unheard of. Right here, we have the exhaust for the Truma Combi. So this has a dual water heater and furnace unit in here, and we have some experience with those and they work excellent. Right here, for anybody who's been around trailers or motor homes, this would be kind of odd to see a sewer dump coming out of the side, but what they've done is, is repurpose this bayonet fitting to accept a portable air conditioner. If that is something you are looking to purchase, that is something that could be worked into the deal for your trailer. We do have a 15 amp twist lock shore cord that comes with the unit. So all you have to do is get an extension cord. This is also have a 30 amp main breaker. So you can get a 30 amp standard shore cord if you'd like. On both rear corners, we do have state, these uh, leveling jacks here. Um, they are actually rated high enough to pick this unit up. Standard scissor jacks on most travel trailers are not rated for that and are, are only for stabilization. These are very tough and you can actually pick this unit up to change a tire out in the field if you needed to. They also can pull the pin and these can rotate up out of the way. Right here around the back, if you listen to that, that's a very solid, secure door. And let's be honest, it looks pretty neat opening it up as well. Do you see we have the bat wing, the 270 degree bat wing awning from Overland Adventures. This thing is solid. It is so solid, in fact, 
that I do not have to have these support legs down to use this awning. It's very neat. They do include a second set of legs. These ones just have a rubber foot. The second set do have a stake in the bottom of the leg. So if you're camping on a soft surface, you can go ahead and stake that down. And they do also have plenty of points to tie in with guy line to secure this. They also make walls that can be zipped into this awning to fully enclose this whole area around the side of this trailer. So if that's something you're interested in, let our sales team know. This trailer is a limited, so one of the things that it comes with extra is an extra dry lock box here on the side. All of these are lockable compartments that are, water, that are watertight sealed. Let's go ahead and check out our kitchen. So I'm just gonna drop this down. We do also have access to the water pump there. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide our kitchen out. And now we do have the Dometic fold up sink and we do have the Dometic two burner stove. So this is the drain line coming off of the sink. So if you're in a park or somewhere where you don't wanna drop water on the ground, you can go ahead and use a bucket. And then we do have hot and cold water available to us on the exterior of this trailer. If we come over to this other side of this front lock box, this is where we're going to find our Truma cooler. So this is powered by 12 volt. As you can see here, this does have a separate fridge and freezer compartment inside. And these can actually be set to different temperatures so you can accommodate whatever needs you need. And this is also Bluetooth, so you can keep track of its cooling performance on your phone. So if we go ahead and come around, we'll go ahead and check out the inside. And now for the interior of the Summit. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and just unzip this awesome bug screen that they have at the entrance and climb on in. So you'll notice that there's plenty of headroom here. This is a pop top trailer. So normally in transit, this would be down, but when we're parked and we're using it, we're gonna go ahead and open this up so it will accommodate plenty of head space towards the back of the trailer here. On the canvas sides, we do have a very nice feature. We have two different layers. So this is a plastic, clear plastic layer. On those colder days where you still want some of that natural daylight, or to be able to see your surroundings. You can open up and this is a clear plastic. On those nicer days where you'd like some of that airflow, we can break that down to the screen. We do have a Max Air remote controlled fan here on the roof. This has multiple speed adjustments and can either be set to pull air in or out. So this is very nice for circulating air or taking some of the must out of the trailer. This unit is actually also has the child burst as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take this support pole and string it across there. And these can go ahead and fold down to accommodate a couple extra little campers. To put them back, it's as simple as re-engaging those locks taking the bar out and normally that bar is just going to slide right here into that cubby. This does also have plenty of storage which is very nice. Got extra stakes and guy line for your awning and your shower room as well as all the manuals for the information as for what's in your unit. Down here you have a velcro storage area that houses the fire extinguisher. And then on this side, we have two more storage panels. We have our distribution panel, which is very nice because this is auto detecting as far as whether you have a lead acid or a lithium battery in this converter. We have our 110 circuit breakers and our 12 volt fuses for everything on this coach. Right here is the controls for our Truma Combi. So this gives us hot water or furnace, hot water, and we can change fan speeds as well. And then here we have all of our switches. Very nice thing is they put us a couple of extra switches. So if you'd like to wire in an additional 12 volt accessory, you can do that as well. 
And then we also do have real-time digital voltage readout for our battery bank. We have a 12 volt power outlet and we have two 2.1 amp 5 volt USB outlets for, for all of your charging needs. We do also have an MB Quartz stereo system with two very good speakers and you can use this Bluetooth auxiliary for getting that music you want to listen to while you're camping. We do have our swiveling butcher block very thick very nice very sturdy table that we can move around as needed and when we're not using this this tabletop is going to sit on these two brackets and that extra cushion there at the front is going to go ahead and fill that in to give us darn near a full queen size bed in a trailer this small right here on our windows we do have a bug screen and when we pull that up, we do have blackout shades. And then they can separate. And then we can open our window. And there are three different height adjustments that we can set our windows to. And they're very simple operation. When I want to close it, I just expend, extend it past. And then it'll go ahead and close down. And there is also two settings that we can put these windows to. And one of the settings, you know, is fully locked. And the second setting, we can leave it partially propped open. It'll still be watertight, but it'll help ventilate the trailer. And then they do also have two very nice movable LED reading lights here. And when you turn those off, you can turn it back on so you can see the button in the dark, which is a pretty nice feature when it's the middle of the night and you need to find that light. Now, if the compartments there in the rear wasn't enough storage for you, we do also have a storage compartment under this seat. There is some of the ducting from the Truma and water lines ran through there. We also have another compartment under this seat as well. And if we move this cushion, there are two additional storage spots. This one is mostly taken up by the Truma, but this one gives you quite a bit of extra storage. Once again, everybody, this is Matt from Horn Rapids RV Service and Sales. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to view the Mission Summit Overland trailer. And if you're interested, get in contact with our sales team today. Thank you very much.